so today you're telling us how a state works? Well, a kinda simple version. Only the part directly related to what we're talking about. In the beginning, things were based on the law of force. The ruler and his army could simply take anything from their subjects. People were practically slaves to the rulers. And people weren't very happy about this. They rioted and killed the rulers who were too mean. So the rulers made some concessions, root laws, and the first constitutions. Appointed judges who were to enforce the law, set up parliaments, and so on. In short, they limited their power. But this didn't solve the problem. Got an idea why? That's an easy question. Since the laws were written by the rulers without the people taking part, then they did everything in their own favor. No one would have liked this. Exactly. Humans soon sussed out this trick, and again, revolutions and riots. So, democracy was introduced. That's when decisions are made by the majority's vote, and the majority of humans take part in creating laws. For a little while, everyone was happy, but it turned out that the majority's opinion was not enough. Because there are minorities. Do you know what a minority is? Yeah, in theory. But is this really important? So five people vote against, and a hundred thousand vote for, so let the five be. Hehehe. <laughs> Let's take such an example. On this planet, girls are more than boys. That means boys are a minority. Suppose that girls decide to expel all boys from humor. But that's not fair. Why not fair? The vote is fair and the rules are followed. That's what we agreed on. Democracy, or everyone has brown eyes. And people think it's how it should be. But five are born with blue eyes. Should they be killed or expelled? But all this is so complicated. I didn't say things were simple. Humans are complicated. No simple answers to such questions exist. The rights of humans have a lot to do with the rights of minorities. It's not about all the rights and wishes, but some very certain rights letting them live normally in the society. And when authorities impose repressive measures, violence, police, or fighting robots against some individual, one day the amount of the needed force becomes excessive. A typical case of human rights violation happened with your own self, Chaggy. You were accused of murdering Yuka. Hi. They arrested you for the crime you didn't commit. They didn't explain you why they arrested you, tortured you. No genuinely independent court. They just made a mockery of justice. Metal voices read out accusations not even listening to you. A classical situation where human rights were violated. State security structures? Against a small boy. Here's where human rights defenders should intervene. Got it? Yeah, I sure got it. <laughs>